Hi everybody! Happy New Year and welcome to a brand new video of the first video of 2019. So today I'm going to show you how to make a black eyed peas curry. Um, so a really simple recipe. It's going to be really nice and uh, comforting as well because it's cold outside, it's raining and so always good to eat something nice and warm. Um, so again, my uh, instant pot here is heating at on saute mode. Put some oil in there. And I have got my usual uh, spice box in here. Some bay leaves. Cinnamon sticks. Uh, cardamom pots. And then in here I have a medium sized onion along with two cloves of garlic. Um, one small piece of ginger, like about half an inch, and a green chili in there, grind up in my magic bullet. And then one tomato, so about medium size, um, and that will get pureed as well. Today I'm going to use this particular masala or a ready uh, spice mix called Malwani masala. It's, um, it's more of a crystal cuisine kind of a taste. You can use your usual spices, don't have to use a ready masala, or you can use some other masala as well, so it doesn't matter. But let me start off by adding some cumin seeds to my oil that's already heating up. And then in here, it's gonna go one piece of bay leaf. Some of the cinnamon sticks. Now again, if you don't like whole um, whole pieces of uh, pieces of this spices, you can either put them in a small muslin cloth and fish them out later. But I don't really mind. You kind of put them aside when you see them while you're eating. And this is the general way of how Indian cooking goes. Um, so now that that's kind of heating up going to add my onion paste in here. It's going to sizzle and make that nice awesome sound. You can see all the steam rising up as well. <laughs> so let this cook. And you want the kind of the water to evaporate. You can also add in a little bit of salt at this time. Okay, just a little. And then just let it saute for about three to five minutes. Okay. So as you can see, after about four or so minutes, my onion has cooked up. Now you're also free to add in chopped onions if you want. It just makes it a quick uh, weeknight dinner if you're just puring everything together. So uh, up to you. If you like the texture of chopped onions um, in your curries, then you can definitely add that as well. Um, I also added a couple of peppercorns and one clove in there. Again, those are optional uh, ingredients. So you can feel free to skip them as well. Uh, my tomato is gone in there. Again, I'm going to let it cook for about three to four minutes. So hopefully all of you guys had a wonderful holiday season. I took a break and of course, you know, a lot of entertainment uh, going on, a lot of travel going on. So which is why I haven't been uh, doing a lot of these videos. But I am sure a lot of you have brought uh, bought new instant pots um, with the Thanksgiving themes and everything. So if you have any burning questions, anything like that, uh, put it down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And what else would you like to see in 2019? Um, so while that tomato has been cooked up, um, I wanted to tell you that the black eyed peas have been soaking for about six hours or so. Um, again, if you don't soak them, then you just have to cook them longer in the IP. But this one, the timing I show you will be for the soaked ones. Um, so these are pretty, they, they are pretty fast to cook. They are not like your garbanzo beans or uh, red kidney beans. But just to let you know, this is how they look like after being soaked. Okay, so in goes a little of about a teaspoon 
or so of my uh, Malwani ready spice mix. Again, you can adjust the red chili spice or even the green chili is optional. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of paprika, turmeric, coriander powder, and a little bit of um, a different garam masala mix that's kind of homemade. It has a little bit of coconut in there. Again, adds coconut gives it, it that coastal flavor. So you can also add some grated coconut if you want in there. Okay. So let it cook for a minute or so. Put some more salt in there. And I'm ready to add my black eyed peas. So just dump everything in there. And like I said, this just comes together really quickly. Then I add some water. About a cup or so. Again, it depends on how thick or thin you like your gravy. And you can eat it different ways. You can make, make it a completely dry curry with a very little gravy, or you can keep it a little bit more uh, liquidy. And just a tad more, and that's all. Now, all I'm going to do here is close the lid and cook it on uh, your bean chili meal mode for about 30 minutes. That's all, um, and it's, this will be ready. I will show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so quickly I turned off the sauté mode, and like I said, just your bean chili mode, on normal pressure. Actually, I'm gonna change my mind and do it for 25 minutes, okay? See you on the other side. Okay, so after about uh, 25 <laughs> minutes of cook time and about 30 minutes of natural release, this is what my black eye peakeries look like. So let me show you how to serve it. So you can serve this warm with some uh, rice or uh, naan or roti. Enjoy. Until next time. See you.